each nuclear licensed site has uh, an NII appointed site inspector to regulate that site. My job is to support that inspector by undertaking technical assessments and inspections of buildings and structures at the power stations. Well, before I joined the Nuclear Directorate, I worked in Gloucester. I joined the CGB, which was 22 years ago, uh, and got involved with the nuclear industry with them. It's currently called British Energy, uh, which is part of the EDF group. Prior to that, I worked in the offshore industry in London. The main reason I, I took this job was because it, en it enabled me to stay in Cheltenham, but also further my career as a civil engineer. I first found out about the vacancies here um, on the good old network, the grapevine at, at uh, this, my previous employer when somebody mentioned that the NII were thinking of opening an office here in Cheltenham. I then went to the HSE website, which is a, a, a very good source of information on the work of the HSE and the Nuclear Directorate and, and gave me all the information I need to then approach uh, the HSE for a job application. Well, I had a very pleasant surprise when I uh, got involved with the HSE and, and I came to, uh, or went to Google rather, to have my assessments and interviews. Because I dealt with the NII professionally, uh, I, I'd seen quite a, a stern front, as it were, and how they, how they dealt with um, the licensees. But um, on attending the job interviews, and subsequent to starting, I saw another side of, of the HSE and, and, and the people, uh, which was, did surprise me. And I, I saw that they were very friendly and very welcoming. Um, and one big benefit of working for this company is, is the support you get from those people. I, I think it's because they're not um, slaves to an industrial process like my previous employers have been. They're not producing electricity and they're not focused on producing oil and uh, they have a lot more time for one another, um, so they are very people orientated. Each newcomer will be assigned a mentor, and my mentor is someone of my technical discipline who's been doing the work in my own area for several years, so he's a very good teacher uh, from that respect. Uh, also, my manager is offering a lot of support. Um, he's not just wielding a big stick to make sure I meet deadlines, he's, he's there to make sure I'm, I'm learning what I need to learn in order to do my job correctly. What I imagine a good employee would need in this role is good communication skills, verbal and written. Um, but also you need to be good at influencing. Part of that is being able to listen. You have to listen very carefully to what um, the licensee wants. Uh, and often it, you can persuade them that we're all, we've all got a common goal, which is safe, reliable generation of nuclear power. There's no such thing as a typical day when you work for the nuclear directorate, um, because the work is so varied. There isn't a routine that you settle into, but there have been various phases that I've, I've gone through as a new starter. The first phase was having to commute to Bootle in Liverpool. Um, for a period of, of just over two months while I, was, I went through an induction phase and did a lot of initial training. But now the Cheltenham office has opened, I'm sharing my time between uh, Cheltenham and doing training and going to meetings in Bootle. On top of that, you've got site visits to go to. Um, and I've been to Hinkley Point Power Station to um, inspect some structures there and write a technical report on that. Uh, for the site inspector. What I like best about working here is the fact that I can live in Cheltenham, which is a beautiful town. I can walk to work, which is very healthy, and a nice refreshing way to start a morning. I also enjoy doing civil engineering and being able to progress my career within my technical discipline. So many of the people I, uh, I studied with at university who were civil engineers, they, they've left the profession because they, they couldn't see a way forward within their technical discipline, but you get the opportunity to do that here. If anybody was thinking of joining the Nuclear Directorate, I'd thoroughly recommend that they went to the websites on the internet and find out a lot more about the work that we do and who, who we need to help us with that work. After that, if you're even remotely interested, then don't hesitate to contact the HR department at Bootle. Uh, have a chat with them, I'm sure they'd be very happy to give you more information, answer any other questions you may have and ar arrange a, a visit 